Hi there guys, welcome back to STS Golf. This week it's myself, Sebastian, playing the awesome nine hole wedge course over at Witterbury. Starting off with, yeah, a tricky little par three, about 160 in, let's see how we do. As you can see, I'm sure you're getting a bit of a flavor as to how windy it was out there. Crazy conditions, yeah, camera only managing to stay up at most points, but we get yeah, a lovely little chip onto the green, very happy with that approach. Pop up to start the round. Will I sink it? No, of course not. Leave it two inches short. Tap in for the bogey. Not a good way to start the round. Second hole is about a 280 yard par four, sort of elected to play. A little five iron to try and knock it down about, yeah, 180 to 200. Leave me a nice pitching wedge in. And yeah, straight down the center. As I hoped, leaving me about about just about 100 in, so we for a kind of a half swing, soft pitching wedge, should leave me about short. Comes out the rough like an absolute fly, but should be okay for the putt. As you can see, left me with a tricky uphill right to left putt. Try to get this as close as I possibly can for the chance at a par. As you can see, never really troubling it for the birdie, but leave me a safe tap in for par, and we'll take that on the second. On to the next one. As you can see, wind has picked up ridiculously right to left, quite in your face here. You see my many attempts at throwing across and yeah, covering myself. Never a good idea, but decided, yeah, a bit of a lofted kind of pitching wedge to play into the wind here. Landed short side of the green, left myself horrible uphill. No really idea how to read this one, but yeah, get as close as we can. Did I get close? Oh, so close, just missed right of the cup. Great attempt. Put that short one in, take another pass, still one over through three. As you can see, coming up to the fourth hole, another quite short par three. This one was just coming in about 115 to pin. So going with a bit of an unconventional, yeah, kind of, again, full swing pitching wedge with the wind, bearing in mind, lots of left to right on this. So we'll see how it plays. As always, I get loads of moans on the Instagram, off to repair the divot like a good golfer. As you can see, overshot it to the top side of the green, just on the cuff. However, it's on a horrible downslope, so just trying to yeah, pitch this up. As always, oh, I've misjudged it horribly, and yeah, didn't even take into account the live degree. My mistake, but yeah, see if I can sink the putt for the par. And yeah, as you see, as normal, I've left it two inches short. Tap that in for the bogey, putting me two over through four. Not a good start to the round. And now this video is just playing out. One, because I forgot the camera, and two, because of the wind conditions, I actually filmed my next tee shot, but the camera kept falling over and deleted the video. So you have to take my word for it. It was par three, about one for five, landed right of the green. As you can see, conditions are super, super windy, massive right to left. So I'm gonna try and keep this chip as low as I can, just try to pitch it on the edge of the green. It's got a bit of slope to go up to and hopefully that will just carry nicely to the hole. As you can see, absolutely nailed it. Myself an excellent opportunity to sink a nice easy putt for par. Five down, still two over. Next up, hole six, and this is a very tricky, about 160 par three bunkers, center left and right of the green, so you've got to nail this one. As you 
and typically I haven't nailed it, I've pushed it to the right and it's left me short right of the green, but hopefully not in the sand. As I thought, I left myself short right of the green, just then a little bit of rough. So she's gonna get the pitching wedge, do a tiny little chip, kind of slash bump and run and hopefully, yeah, get it near the pin. Absolutely nailed it, and just as a show of confidence, finished it off with the wedge. So that leaves us still two over through six now, and we're coming up to another long par four seventh. This one is about 310, bunkers littered all around the 200 to 250 mark. So we're gonna try and play a bit of a lower five iron and just try and get over those, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. As you can see, caught it fairly well, but yeah, pushed it again a bit just into the rough on the right. Left me about kind of, I think I've got about 100, kind of 90 into the green. Yes, yeah, so we'll see if we can pitch this one close. As you can see, good pitch shot. Left myself about 10 foot for the birdie. Chance to bring us back a hole. But of course, I've yeah pushed it right of the hole again, as per normal, and another putt in for par. But through seven, two over, we'll take that. Coming up to the penultimate hole late, another par four again. I think this one's about 295. Tricky left to right. So gonna, yeah, again, trying to get the five iron, put it about 200 down, leave myself a good kind of wedge shot into the green. Yeah, but we'll see how we get on. As you can see, catch it sweet. Lovely shape on the shot. Should leave us a good one in. Good yardage in, but again, not on the fairway in the rough, meaning hope this ball is either going to come out flat or as a fly, but I'm here to try and get a little wedge, get it as close to the pin as we can. Caught it well, but left it short. Didn't come out as fly as I hoped it would out the rough, but we'll see what we can do. Going for the trusty eight iron, bump and run, get us as close to the pin as we can. Lovely bump and run, left myself a six foot putt, Good chance to secure another par, still take us two over through eight. As you can see, absolutely nail it. Good read, right to left, best part of the day. Right, that leads us on to the last hole, hole nine, par three, about 125. Going for a kind of soft nine iron here, two over, can we bring it back at all? As you can see, caught it a bit fat and a bit thin, so I think this one's going to push and carry across the green, but hopefully with something recoverable. As guessed, run off the back onto the cuff, that leaves me a good chance for the par, get it as close as we can. If not, try to for the birdie. And if that doesn't sum up the day, again, I've left it about two inches short. If I pulled all of those together, I probably would have finished under par. But there you go. Awesome little nine hole wedge course at Whittlebury. Two over through nine. We'll be playing it again if you're in the area. Definitely give it a try.